Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Donald Trump. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Hi everyone. Well, it is June 14th Flag Day. And also, it is Donald Trump's birthday. So happy birthday, Mr. President. 73 and looking good. So today, um, well, we were gonna, I was going to take a, a picnic in at Shirley Plantation, but unfortunately Route 5 was closed off, so I had to go to uh, Petersburg. I went to Petersburg, Virginia, and I had a little box lunch there. It was really nice. Actually, it was pretty, pretty nice, Petersburg. Well, this time of day. I wouldn't be there late at night. <laughs> shoot, shoot, you know, gunfires blazing around me, and... Uh, crack houses everywhere but um, other than that it's a very nice it was a very nice excursion um, so uh, it's a shame I want to go to Petersburg because I'm trying to get no actually not Petersburg I want to go to Shirley because I'm trying to get some uh, footage of cotton fields because I'm going to use it in my next music video but unfortunately Route 5 was closed so I couldn't get get over there so we went to Petersburg and had a little uh, had a little box lunch for um, for Donald Trump, and uh, so I hope he's doing well today, you know. Um, a lot of things against him, a lot of things against him, believe you me. I live in this city here in Richmond, and believe you me, it is a sort of a liberal bubble, so everywhere I go around, liberals everywhere. But most people don't bother me. Um, I do feel like sort of an outsider, um, but all of us, you know, all of us uh, Republican folk have to sort of cower under the covers, because there's a lot of angry people around but I unfortunately and fortunately I'll tell you what I saw some rainbow flags oh no <laughs> they put a big old rainbow flag on top of um, the bird theater I was like what are y'all trying to do this can't you just have you know it was right next to the American flag I find that very disrespectful very disrespectful but I'll tell you what we're taking back the rainbow we are we're taking back the rainbow rainbow from those degenerates and eventually we're going to have a, we're going back to traditional family values. I can just feel it all around. People are just tired of all this degeneracy. People want a country that has good morals and, and uh, you know, I have seen some of the, uh, I have seen some of the footage of those parade parades. And I will tell you what, I am shocked. I am utterly shocked. I can't believe that all these half-naked people are dancing around with little children, little children that are not even, not even teenagers. <laughs> it just really, it's very sad, saddens me. And all this talk about welcoming, welcoming, well, what you're doing is you're welcoming in the devil, um, you know, <laughs> so we need to rebuke that. But anyway, it's such a beautiful day. I don't want to go on a negative tangent because I'm just so thankful every day that Donald Trump is in the White House, making Mer making America great again. <laughs> um, I haven't had any dreams about Trump lately, but I have had um, I have had some revelations about you know he's always um, sort of um, trying to change his cabinet around, you know, and I think that's because um, the the Lord is leading him with that. Now Sarah Sanders, um, a lot of people have heard that Sarah Sanders has left. Um, she's no longer uh, the, well, she's leaving soon. I just think that that is probably calculated. I think there's a good reason. But she's done a wonderful job. And can you believe that she was kicked out of a restaurant just because she works for the President of the United States? And I, it happened right here in my home state. And I am, I am very, I'm embarrassed to be from Virginia right now. I am seriously embarrassed. Where we had, we just had a uh, pedophile, uh, Mr. Morrissey, was won the primary. Uh, well, he had an affair with a 17-year-old. That's pretty close. I'm sorry, that's pretty close to pedophilia. And he won the primary because all the black voters, they don't care. They just vote Democrat, vote Democrat, vote Democrat. They just want their free stuff. We've told them time again. They're voting for the party that keeps them suppressed. But no, they don't care. They just keep voting Democrat. Well, they're going to, like the city of Petersburg, we were down there. I was down there today. And... It is just disheartening to see how it, bankrupt it is. Of course, it does have some very nice areas. <laughs> but um, anyway, so you would say I wear this hat because most of the most of the leftists around me are too dumb to know that this is a Trump hat. They're all focused on make America great again. So I wear this around town, and nobody even knows what it is because <laughs> they're so dumb. They don't even know. 
they don't even know what it is. And they think they're so smart. That's the thing. They think they're so smart. They're so much smarter than all of us. Well, the silent majority, the silent majority in America stands with the president. And come 2020, there are going to be a lot of boo-hooing, a lot of boo-hooing going on. <laughs> I'm done with Virginia. I'll tell you, I'm done with Virginia. I don't care. Who cares if Virginia doesn't go red 2020? It's done. Put a fork in it. I'm done with praying. Well, I'm a pray for Virginia, but frankly, I'm done with it. I think it's a lost cause. We're, we're part of the D.C. swamp, and nobody seems to care. All they care about is getting their progressive, you know, whatever, borderless society, baby killing, all that. They don't care. They just vote Democrat and Bernie and whatever. I hate to say it, but the young people are so, so uninformed. And I'm not the smartest person in the world either, but at least I admit it. I admit that I'm not smart. These people think that they're superior to us in every way. But anyway, other than that, it's been a wonderful day. Today was a beautiful day for a picnic out in Petersburg, down in Petersburg. Um, I didn't get to go to Shirley, but I will next time. They're having a, a lot of graduate, there's a lot of stuff going on today because they're having a VCU graduation downtown. You know, it's going to bring a lot of riffraff in. <laughs> so, anyway, I avoid downtown like the plague. But I did have a beautiful, beautiful picnic today, and tomorrow I'm probably going to go over to Williamsburg. I did a lot of family research, and an interesting thing, you know how I kept wanting to go down to Charleston? Well, I found on my family tree that I have some ancestors from Charleston, uh, actually several, and some were French Huguenot, and some were actually from Bermuda, and they went back and forth to Charleston. I just thought that was really fascinating, so sometimes I wonder if that's why I was drawn to Charleston so much, because I, I have some ancestry there, some distant ancestry, but they all married into old Virginians, and here I am. But uh, anyway, so I'll see y'all soon. I'm doing some more, more vlogs for you, more videos. Happy birthday again to our beloved president, Donald Trump, turning seven, 73 today. And I have to tell you, he looks so much better than Barack Obama. Barack Obama was aging 20 years when he was in the White House, but Trump looks like a 58-year-old. I really you know, I have to say, he keeps himself in good shape, and I like his new hairstyle, too. I think I'll try it myself. <laughs> we germ, we krauts got to stick together. Um, so anyway, I'll see y'all soon, and until next time, meet Skelton. Bye.